sir. Yes, sir. Okay, today we are going to deal with this very, uh, what is it, interesting or boring topic of expectation. How do you find it interesting or boring? Respond, kids, please respond. Excuse me, sir. Can think, you please repeat? I couldn't hear. Their voice isn't clear. Voice is not clear. Okay, I think others can do. Now, my voice is clear to you? Yes, yes sir. sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so we'll begin with this topic of tax. Have you ever uh, come across uh, tax in your daily life? Yes, sir. When GST. we buy certain product. Yes, sir. Uh, please come again. I couldn't hear. The GST, when we buy sir. product. <laughs> please, one by one. They just speak one by one. Okay. So, GST, when we buy anything. Huh, very good. When you buy a pizza with cheese burst and extra topping of uh, corn and capsicum, okay. Have you seen the bill of uh, Domino's with tax mentioned yes, yes, on sir. it? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let us try to define uh, uh, this uh, tax, okay. Uh, would anybody come up with a definition of tax? So, can I try? Huh, yeah, please. So tax is a financial charge which is imposed by a government of a state or a country on an individual company. Now please close your book and give a reply. A common sense reply. Yes, my book is closed. Tax is money collected by the government to uh, for the betterment of the society. Excellent. The development of the society. This is a common sense reply. Anybody, anybody uh, will try to improvise upon it? Ma'am, the tax is uh, a money or a charge which is taken by government for development, infrastructure, and security. Very nice. Very nice. Anybody else? I feel you are quite, quite acquainted with this uh, basic term of tax. You, uh, you don't Sir, have can to... I tell? Uh, please, please. Sir, uh, tax is used to pay people for their services and uh, like uh, to help the society more. To help society, this you said? Yes, sir. Helping society is the objective of uh, collecting tax. So basically people collect, the government collects tax and then uh, they gather it and then use it for people's benefit. And sometimes they use it, you know, for these space projects or many things. Good enough, good enough. Please go ahead so if anybody can I try? Uh, please. So the citizens actually, uh, government takes money from the citizen, uh, citizens for security to protect them. Yes. Okay, okay. So uh, I don't feel you have any problem with this basic terminology of tax. You are quite aware of it. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. So we can move to the next topic. And that is, uh, may I have a topic, please? Huh, yes. Who takes tax and why? Who is collecting tax? The government, sir. The government takes tax the and then it uses sir. it for uh, our, our benefits, the uh, public's benefits. For the working of the government and the uh, benefits. Achha, of tell me why there is a need for the government to come into the picture. Why don't people make their own development? For example, your father is sending you to a school and he's paying the fees. Now, why should government come in between and play this role of collecting tax and promoting? Sir, a democracy people? cannot work without a government. Yes, a democracy cannot work. Uh, uh, and even a monarchy can, cannot work. Without can reply. Uh, but uh, can't people uh, look after themselves? Why should government uh, uh, collect tax and do these things? And this is because the investments which are which are very huge, like development of infrastructure, can't be done by one person or two person. Okay, okay. Anybody else would like to try? What role does government have in it? Why doesn't citizen uh, come and uh, take this responsibility of development? So, for government so, has powers which people don't have in. Uh, we can't, you know, get a metro built, which is getting built in Kanpur. The government can, and it's from tax money. Okay, that would mean that.
that there are certain areas which people cannot interfere or intervene or come into picture and do and government can do yes okay. yes sir exactly is it true okay then what are those areas so many different areas uh, uh, please uh, some of you give uh, examples defense 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 okay very good defense people cannot look after only government can look after so infrastructure infrastructure you said you said infrastructure am i right yes sir yes sir and what is infrastructure so school schools and then good school, roads good roads schools yes hospitals medical infrastructure hospitals okay the communication okay so we came up with two points defense and infrastructure any more the communication communication but then what mr mukesh ambani is doing with geo platform he is doing such a good work in communication so mukesh ambani ha ah, yes please try but they also have to take permission from the government try to be a little audible i couldn't hear it so they also have to take uh, even the village companies have to take permission from the uh, from the government before they do something okay okay anybody else would like to try any other area which government should uh, take and not the people domestic security police domestic security that means police very good so uh, in a way we can say transportation too ha ah, yes in a way you can say this transportation too yes for example we are having public transport like railways even buses ships that yes, require sir. maintenance of ports and uh, uh, that requires collection of taxes one very important area you are missing so can i tell ah uh, please so health health very good health must have been placed at the first place yes sir may i help yes. education you left out so education and one burning topic you left out so foreign affairs foreign affairs foreign affairs uh, is not foreign affairs about. and public services public services we have covered by telling uh, this education and health and all this is covered by public services do you know recent developments in afghanistan yes sir yes, sir. are you aware yes sir. yes sir yes sir in that context any field government should india had built the afghanistan parliament uh, the the government can help afghanistan as the help of afghanistan apart from that from security of india angle so it is it is evacuating people uh, please come again so evacuating people evacuating people okay <laughs> you are so philanthropist all of you you are nobody is thinking about the security of india Yes, Kashmir. Suppose uh, the terrorist organizations who are now settled in Afghanistan try to attack India. What options does India have? So retaliate. Retaliate. Ah, uh, retaliate. Uh, weapons, uh, and which is the highest, most sophisticated weapon that countries are now using to frustrate foreign nuclear. attacks? Nuclear. Nuclear. Nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is one sector where the government has to uh, uh, develop itself fastly. and compete with other worlds and that is why it also need taxes so this is why government collect taxes this we have discussed okay are you satisfied with this discussion yes sir yes sir can you now answer questions like who takes tax and why yes sir yes sir okay you are convinced about that now we move on to the our third point why should we pay tax So, so we should pay so tax for our development our for the growth. country's growth. Yes, for our country's growth. For the yes. development. 
So for infrastructure, health and or transportation and everything we talked about right now. Okay, suppose we don't pay tax, what would happen? So, so uh, we will remain an LED country and so our economy so will... India would stand economy. nowhere. India would stand nowhere if people didn't pay tax. There would be many, uh, there wouldn't be many things which are uh, there right now. Ajay, uh, can you give any example where people refuse to pay tax? Yes, so many people refuse to pay tax. Uh, people. Some, some burning example from history. You can move back to say 200, 300 years back or even 5,000 years back. Is it possible that people refuse to pay tax? Yes, yes sir. sir. I remember, we, sir. We, yes, we, sir. We times. Many people yes, have uh, said no to paying tax because uh, they were the poor King's and man. they couldn't afford it. They were going like bankrupt the, and they uh, couldn't the uh, take care of the families. The so can I tell you? Yes. In Britain, then. in World War One and Two, like Britain was suffering from poverty. That is why many people refused to pay tax because, like that time, uh, many people were suffering through many uh, issues. Excellent. They were unemployed. Excellent. Unemployed. Any other example from world history? Yes, sir. So in uh, uh, time from time to time in France and Britain. Uh, revolutions have been caused because uh, poor people and others don't want to pay tax. Excellent. That is where we are uh, mixing social studies with economics. In India, also, uh, people refuse to pay the salt tax because people don't so pay during the British tax. time. Uh, during British regime. So during British times, uh, taxes on salt was very high, and people were not able to like. Uh, pay the taxes and all for that so like they did not pay for it are you aware in which form british used to collect tax did they collect what? did they collect in uh, terms of money no so sir, they used sometimes it for they wars. collected in uh, terms of um, work so, uh, like work um, counters people uh, needed to work for them sometimes they collected in materials I think there is an example of atrocities in collecting of tax in the British period. So they used to torture the people if they did not pay taxes. Are you trying, kids? Yes, sir. I give you a clue. So they used to torture the people if uh, people did not give taxes. And who were these people? Britishers. So the king's men so used to torture. Who were tortured? Who were tortured? British officers. The Indians. Indian peasants. Indians, sir. Uh, there is a specific Indian section. Peasants. I give you a clue. Amir Khan, Jesse Singh, Ashutosh Gavitrikar. Actors. Uh, can you recollect the movie? Lagan. Lagan. The British used to collect tax in the form of agricultural produce. Sometimes it used to be as high as the amount of harvest itself. And sometimes the penalty ran into two years of harvest. So the farmers were not left enough even to give their children enough feeding. Okay. Yes. So should we refuse to pay tax at any point of time? Yes. Sir, if we are under the if we are under the rule of British, then I think we Hello, refuse to pay tax. So that depends on the conditions we are going through. Uh, depend on the conditions that we are going through. If like we are suffering from poverty and something like that, we should refuse to pay tax. Uh, say in the current, uh, say we are standing in two thousand twenty-one. Should we refuse we to pay, pay tax, tax uh, sir? Especially for so the uh, development of the medical industry. Some people no, medical so infrastructure. Especially for the medical infrastructure. And so some people time. still don't pay tax because of the, uh, you know, they law people, few people lost their jobs during this situation and they don't have any uh, in sight of income. So few people still refuse to pay tax during this time. And so they can't do anything about it. It wasn't their fault. Okay. This leads us to a very important discussion. Should we evade paying tax? Evasion is different from refusing to pay. 
In refusal, we say openly we won't pay. In yeah, evasion, yeah. we silently cheat and steal and move away with yeah, No, sir, so you shouldn't invade. No, sir. We shouldn't evade big tax. We, uh, we shouldn't evade because then we are we are involved in illegal uh, activity. Anybody else would like to answer this question? So I yes. wouldn't want to bring this topic, but sir, a uh, few people who don't pay taxes, even I've noticed, you know, raids are caused because of that, and many other things happen. So, so we shouldn't, you know, do all this illegal stuff. Uh, please elaborate. I couldn't get your point. So, if you see many please people don't pay taxes, no harm in discussing things. So, be, many people don't pay taxes, and uh, it's illegal without you know telling the government or something. And many rich people do that. So, so that you know causes a lot of. That's not uh, legal. It, that could cause you in trouble. And so many people do that and many raids are caused because of that in houses. So, so that isn't right and we shouldn't uh, pay the, uh, we should pay the tax. And if you're going through some problem, then contact the uh, government or somebody else to, you know, let them know your problem. I would like to give a big clapping to this boy. Perfect answer. It's like uh, you go, you want to go with your friends and want to halt at night at a club and beyond 12 o'clock you want to stay there. But you don't want to discuss with your parents. You want to uh, make a hide of this feeling. You, you just say, okay, I'm going there to study. It's better to tell your parents that you want to go on uh, dinner and it might take, uh, uh, say, uh, a longer period at night and, and tell them that these are the phone numbers that I'm available and discuss it with this instead of I dis, hide this from your parents and tell them something that uh, you, uh, your cycle got punctured or your motorbike was under repair so you couldn't come in time. So it is better when you are in problem, you discuss it with government rather than evade your tax. Rather than go for illegal practices, go for your own create uh, going into a pool in which you create your uh, tension building situations. So avoid that type of thing. So that was a very good answer. Yeah. I wasn't expecting from you children your, your response in that way, sure. but that is an excellent answer. So did, does the government allow us uh, uh, to refuse paying tax? It is compulsory to pay taxes, right? It is compulsory. It is mandatory. And the, uh, the penalties are severe. The, there are not only monetary penalties, but there are penalties ranging for pros uh, prosecution. A person can be sent to jail for imprisonment for terms ranging from three years to seven years. And this had to be there because if such rigorous penalties were not there, nobody would come up to pay tax. But fortunately, over this period of 75 years of independence, we have moved from an era of harsh taxation slabs to moderate taxation slabs. Are you aware that in 1960s, 70s, the tax rates were as high as 60 to 70 percent? That is, if you are earning 10,000 rupees, 6,000 to 7,000 rupees were had to be paid by way of taxes. And that is why I raised this question whether uh, it is good to evade tax because in those regions. So, but I have a question. I need ah, to yeah, tell please, something. Please, please. So, but many people uh, now it's a rule or something that, sir, uh, for example, I'm earning 10,000, I'll only pay 2,000 as tax. So, because my income is low, so they won't charge as much tax as they used ah, to ah. in the early times. That is why, that is what I'm going to tell you that over these periods, we have uh, come, we have landed into a system which is quite rationalized and moderate. Now the tax slabs have come down to, in some cases, as low as 15%. And the normal tax rates are 30%. And that tax rates are applicable when so many incentives are available within the tax rate. So after claiming so many deductions in the form of incentives, you pay this tax, which is not a hole in your pocket. You can happily afford to pay this tax. Now the taxmen say that person who pays tax, in fact, invests in his happiness invest in his own well-being. The tax rates are such which can be comfortably and easily paid and which promotes the development of the society. And we have also widened the tax base. Uh, 10 years back, we had only three crores income tax assessees out of a population of 135 crores. Now you know how much tax base are there who are filing income tax? Are you aware of the figure? No. 
about no, eight crores. Eight crores jumped from three crores. Now eight crores people are coming forward to pay tax. Now these number of persons pay tax to a very small amount, contribute to a very large amount as compared to three crores paying a huge amount. So more people come out to pay tax, the lower will be the tax burden. This experiment government tried over the last four years that it lowered the tax rates and people came up with more uh, response. They became more responsive to the tax taxation system and paid their due taxes. So we are living in an era which is comfortable for the citizens as well as the government. Are you people satisfied with this discussion? Yes, sir. Any questions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Any doubt about no, why should we pay tax? No, sir. No, sir. So when you grow up, you will pay tax? Some of you will pay tax. Sir, it depends if we earn money or not. You are doubtful about it. You will earn the money or not. A product of Billabong will not earn money. Sir. <laughs> Surely you will be earning money. Why won't you earn money? With all your caliber and abilities, you will earn money. But remember to pay tax. Now we move to the last topic, type of taxes. What is this type of taxes? Even taxes have types. Yes, so sir. Indirect and direct. Indirect and direct. Direct and indirect. Achha, why you people have called me? They are all enlightened gentry. Achha, what are direct and indirect taxes? Sir, indirect are like which are uh, or uh, which are collected. Sir, indirect taxes are Adam. which are imposed by the government. Indirect taxes are imposed by sir, the in, government. Sir, indirect taxes are those taxes which you can't see in the plane and you don't know that you are. This means that it's not given to you that you have to pay the sum. It is you have to pay the sum with the, uh, within the MRP of a product. And direct taxes are those which the government uh, takes the pro uh, takes the money from you without any intermediary. Okay. Uh, are the group members satisfied with this answer? Okay, or yes, still, sir. still they have doubts in spite of this answer. Also, no oh, yeah, please. Somebody so, uh, so I think direct depends on income and profits and indirect depends on uh, like services and goods. Yeah. You may, you may uh, say in that way, uh, but uh, I won't say it would be a comprehensive answer because even indirect taxes depend upon your income. Uh, you pay indirect tax only when you can afford to pay. Huh, true. They are not levied upon your income. Any example of direct tax? Corporate tax, income tax. Income tax. And indirect tax? The GST. Why is it GST, GST called an indirect tax? So because, so because an intermediary so is there. It is collected like the through a so service tax. Service tax is now abolished, but it is a good example of indirect tax. But service tax is no more prevalent. With the introduction of GST, service tax got merged in GST. That is why it is called goods and service tax. Previously, we were having two types of taxes. For goods, it was called VAT, value added tax. And for services, we were having service tax. There was two other, other two different branches. Now they have been merged into one tax, goods and service tax, GST. And this is an indirect tax. And it is an indirect tax because you don't feel paying like it. Paying, uh, like it. Because uh, in direct tax, the government says, you, this is your income 10 lakhs, pay, cut a check of rupees 2 lakhs rupees, and now we will have this, and this is directly levied upon you. You cut a check of 2 lakhs, two lakhs and you can feel that you are paying tax. But when you consume pizza, when you visit restaurants, when you purchase groceries, when you purchase shoes, when you purchase garments, when you order, Amazon orders, you pay indirectly. They only tell you, sir, the visa costs you 545 rupees, but you don't know that the tax component is there and you are paying it indirectly. So it is taken out of your pocket, virtually not, uh, you not being aware of it that it is being taken. That is the major difference between direct and indirect tax. Any example, any other example of indirect tax? On the product, most of the no, products. I, I couldn't hear kids. Please come. So, on. VAT, VAT. Uh, huh. 
I told you earlier that VAT is now abolished and has merged into GST. Any tax which is still still so anti dumping tax, anti dumping tax, anti dumping tax. Okay, coming from the book, something from your practical uh, experience. So there is something known as entertainment tax also. Ah, uh, good, very good. I might tell you. I don't know whether it is in your syllabus. When you uh, tell this word uh, entertainment tax, when we discuss this topic of who collects tax, and you said government collect tax. So central government, a, state government, local government. Uh, since we have a federal structure, there there is a central government and there are state governments too. So certain taxes are collected by the central government and certain Income taxes tax. are collected by the state government. This entertainment tax you just. Uh, Told is uh, uh, state collect. state collects it. Incidentally, I might ask whether GST is uh, collected by central government or state government. State government. Itna sanata kyu hai, bhai? State government, sir. The both state and central government, SGST and CGST. Actually, the system has been designed in such a way that it is primarily collected by the central government, and then the states are given their share. If you are a regular newspaper, a newspaper reader, you will uh, you will be coming across news like uh, uh, state governments are uh, proclaiming in the COVID area the collections of GST were so meager. That the state government could not part with the money it has collected in the form of GST. So state governments are making a hue and cry that they should be given their share of GST so that they can run their, their respective states. Okay, uh, is, I don't know if it was covered in your syllabus, but just uh, for your knowledge. So we covered types of taxes. We covered what is tax. We covered who ta takes tax and why, and why should we pay tax. Now it is your turn. Any questions? I'll be happy to answer it. So don't be shy about asking questions. Don't judge whether you are asking a question and whether it is stupid or foolish. Ask as a stupid question as you can. Sir, how do does it mean if you go out for uh, fetching for does a stupid question? How do we pay uh, taxes? There's a notice from, from, uh, from the government. You are murmuring or you are asking? So I'm asking how do we uh, pay taxes? Doesn't notice come from the government? Of course, of course. Uh, very we important question. Uh, now, this gentleman asked a very important question. I would like to tell you. In previous uh, regimes, or say uh, way back uh, in 2000 or in 90s or 80s, if you conceal tax, government was not having enough information to track this. Yeah, this person has concealed tax. It was very difficult to identify. Unless that person amasses huge wealth and builds palaces, buildings, and acquires lavish cars, it was very difficult. Somebody hides gold coins underneath their basements. Government, it was difficult for government to track it. But now, with high technology involvements, and that is why AI is being taught, taught to you artificial intelligence, because with the help of artificial intelligence, government has created a system where the government knows more than your income than you know yourself. If you earn interest, if you uh, uh, register a building, if you purchase a property, if you purchase gold, if you purchase motor car, if you purchase lavish consumables, if you go for a foreign tour, government now has a record of each and everything on a click of a button. They, they just- So I have a button. question. Uh, yes. So for example, I don't pay tax. So how will the government, you know, find out that I am not paying tax? Very good question. Very good question. And the answer will lead you to why you should avoid evading tax. Now, I will give you a practical example. You earn 20,000 rupees. 20,000 rupees is an amount which will be spent out. You won't be left with any savings. But suppose you earn 20 crores of rupees. Okay. And you don't pay tax. Yes, sir. Tax due was about 6 crores of rupees, let us say. But you don't pay this tax. Okay. Since you have not paid tax, what will you do with this money? So I will invest it on myself. Invest in what? My family. So invest many things. Luxuries. 
not exactly completely but yes that some i will I invest have, some i will why precisely i have taken this huge figure 20 crores it's a huge figure we don't want to pay tax where will you take the money so either i will invest it or either i'll hide it so that the government stop, can't stop, find stop, about stop. it when you say i invest it be very cautious how do you invest it where do you invest it i will tell you you can invest in purchasing house property you can make fixed deposits you can purchase jewelry you can purchase motor cars you can purchase lands what else will you do can you do anything so else? there are many track of all many options गोल्ड Dweller has the liability to intimate the government that this person has purchased so much of jewelry, say exceeding two lakhs of rupees. You purchase a motor car, a tax, a very small amount of tax is deducted by the motor car dealer and deposited to the government with the reference of the person who has purchased the motor car. Wherever you go, the reporting is going to the government. So it is highly unwise in the current scenario to even think of evading tax. and that is not even required because as i earlier said the tax rates have been so uh, lended to such moderate rates sure. they have been squeezed to such moderate level and so much incentives are available before you come out to pay tax in the form of a standard deduction to salaried employees or when you invest in certain specified securities that is reduced from your income so there are so many incentives in which you can easily manage to pay tax and live happily with your savings so uh, sure. it is highly unwise i would like to tell you one more point as i gave you an example of uh, the person who was earning 20 crores and he doesn't pay tax of say 6 crores of rupees okay now what will he do he will at the best dump his money in the basement he will purchase a huge what you call it the polythene bag and dump the money zip it up and keep it in the basement okay suppose he had paid taxes of 6 crores of rupees he was left with 14 crores of rupees with these 14 crores of rupees he could have made investment suppose in the mutual funds after 5 years at a given rate of 10% these 14 crores would have become say around 26 crores of rupees but when he did not pay tax those 20 crores rupees dumped in the basement remained only 20 crores rupees so after 5 years this person is in a net loss of 5 crores of rupees that is why we say that when you pay taxes you basically invest in money tax is an investment which helps your money grow in a legal and a better way rather than when you dump it can you get it now so i have another yes, question sir. now please ask so for example you pay 20000 and i pay 10000 as tax so so for example you pay 10000 more than me so will you have a bigger profit than me like will the government you know give you some uh, special not exactly special but something you know more than me because i paid less tax is that so or everyone will get it equally uh, i have so many questions to ask you child uh, you have read the preamble of our constitution what are the key Sorry, ingredients sir? of uh, preamble of our constitution of india the points the key points republic socialism fraternity and one yes, important sir. point is equality no citizen yes, can be distinguished from other citizen on the point of that they are paying better taxes is akshay kumar treated better than you Does the government uh, calls Akshay no, Kumar and calls him with a garland and say, "Yes, you have paid tax. Yes, we appreciate no, his effort. He is paying twenty-five crores of rupees tax." But that doesn't mean that uh, when you go to see a cinema, Akshay Kumar will be seated in the uh, say yes. balcony and you will be seated in the first class. That won't happen. Paying taxes is your duty. It is your honest duty. You must discharge it. That doesn't bring you to a higher platform. Yes, there will be a regard sure. also in the society. There will be a regard. That is true. but that doesn't mean that people will start
start discussing but the, the person who has income he will pay tax according to his income only no a person who is having 50000 is income saying pay tax 10000 rupees because he has 50000 another person is having 1 lakh of income as paying 20000 tax now how can you expect a person with 50000 income to pay 20000 as tax that is not possible and for that we cannot distinguish one person from another apart from uh, i would say the uh, taxation angle even from the earning angle we should not uh, distinguish people on the level of their earnings a farmer earns only 5 lakhs of rupees a year and mukesh ambani earns uh, i don't know even the figure he is earning now what uh, whether you will distinguish a farmer from uh, mukesh ambani just because uh, he is a poor farmer from a humanitarian angle the farmer is as good as mukesh ambani our constitution does not distinguish between these two persons as a society you pay him respect but from a matured angle both are human beings we cannot uh, say that this is a better human being and this is a lesser human being you will call the normal person a lesser human being because he is earning less no that would be a sin it would be highly immoral any educated person would sure. classify persons on the basis of their income tax or income ah, yes please so uh, sir uh, oh, many uh, middle east countries such as oman and uae they do not pay taxes uh, people there do not pay taxes so how are they so rich how are they so developed good question i will ask uh, other members to answer this question a very good question raised by this person so because of the bad they get from oil and other resources very good answer yaar why don't you people discuss within yourself why you have called me your people are quite enlightened <laughs> That is a sir, very good then, answer. Sir, but the, now the, uh, sir, but now the oil is like, uh, effed. Oil is getting effed uh, there, in middle in many Middle East countries. Uh, that is a different issue. I will say uh, that is true that they are losing oil. But in this process of over hundred years of uh, this uh, what you call oil uh, luxury, they have earned millions of dollars, which will keep them alive for say another hundred years. the only problem is that that in this process these countries the citizens of these countries have become lazy while in these uh, 75 years of independence we indians have become active yes. our, our products are at the top of the world say it google say it amazon say it uh, uh, multinational companies our citizens are leading the world so when they are uh, lost with the money when the middle east countries are lost with the money it remains to be seen whether they will be able to manage themselves all the world with the caliber they have because in these years with so much of money like a, a child of a very good very rich father who doesn't do anything who doesn't study who doesn't go to the school and watch tvs and play free fire uh, he will be nothing so this is the problem with these countries and this is a problem what you seeing in afghanistan they have made a government but they cannot run the government they took 14 years to form a government 14 days to form a government they have one afghanistan say in 27th of august they couldn't form a government because they were not knowing what to do and even still ahead they don't have money they don't have plans to expand the government they are looking for other or say their father pakistan to decide what to do now so this is a problem with this might be the problem but they are awakening they are awakening themselves so i have a question yeah so what if all the countries and all the uh, what if all the countries decide not to take tax would that uh, you know benefit them or will that cause to a major destruction but all countries if they decide to do that uh, uh, please tell could you be a little more specific i couldn't rather get the so for for example india says that i uh, we won't take tax from any citizen in our country okay and uh, china usa and all other countries agree to this fact so sir if they come up with one uh, single rule that no tax will be taken will it benefit the entire uh, will it benefit all the countries or will it lead to major destruction uh, first of all i can't understand this concept of not paying taxes india is not in a position even america is not in a position not to collect tax even the so for example if you take it if india comes in a position and says we won't collect tax you can take an example hmm. uh, so will it cause to a major destruction or will it benefit the country matlab uh, i would say 
am unable to just understand the question because there is no remote possibility of non collection of taxes we don't have enough funds to sit back it used to happen say in the golden periods of our times when uh, vikramaditya and okay, things so. like that ruled when the wealth with india was so much that there was no need to collect taxes from the government but currently okay, we are so. in a, uh, yeah, currently we are in a scene that we uh, cannot afford to uh, postpone uh, collecting tax we don't have incomes we have to collect it okay sir at best we have switched to a moderate level of taxation which was very harsh yes sir and so we have switched to a moderate rate. we try to uh, collect tax and do you know uh, somebody said that tax should be collected from the citizens just like this uh, bee collects nectar from the flower whose lines are these who has said this and from which country when a bee collects nectar from the flower the flower doesn't feel the pain it is so silently sucked off from the flower that even the bee has uh, ridden with that nectar but the flower doesn't feel the pain that some he has been it has been deprived of something who said these lines you know are you aware Don't okay. I'm asking. Yes, sir. Are you aware? Yes, so I guess the tax, uh, the injustice tax government. I'm sorry. So these is the class these responding. These lines. These, these lines are said by C J I C J I B O D E. I don't know how to pronounce the name, sir. Okay, <laughs> you have searched it in Google right now. Okay. <laughs> you will be amazed to know that these lines were said about 3000 years back and these lines were said by an economist who belonged to india and these lines were said by none else than a person who is called acharya chanakya or kautilya or vishnugupta who has written a book called arthashastra Uh, you must have read it in your history classes about uh, acharya chanakya who was a famous economist and he said this that the king should collect taxes in a way which give least pinching to the citizens and fortunately in india we are moving towards that regime towards that uh, uh, scale that we can make it easier for the smaller sections of the society to comply with the taxes with the tax administration and uh, that is why i would like to inform you now we have a digitized platform with income tax there is now zero interaction with the government income tax authorities the people don't have to go to the department and meet the officers and uh, dance to their whims they have a digitized platform where they can file their returns rectify their returns file appeals and rectify whatever mistakes they have done and they are now treated in a respected way and they are informed of their mistakes and they are given time to rectify it so that penalty is not level so department has become now friendly with the citizens rather than in uh, good old past times they were like what you call a demon sitting on the throne and dictating you do that you do this otherwise i will punish you so that regime is over so we are you when you will grow up you will find even a better environment to comply with the taxes क्या लगता है आपको मैंने अच्छे से सर खाया आप लोगों को यस यस एनी क्वेश्चंस एनी डाउट्स नो 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 सर सर नाउ यू कैन गिव आंसर्स व्हेनेवर दिस पेपर ऑन टैक्सेशन कम्स टू यू आई डोंट नो वेदर दे विल बी हैविंग अ पेपर ऑन टैक्सेशन ओके ब्रिंग 100 आउट ऑफ 100 एंड टेल द वर्ल्ड दैट पर्सन लाइक मी हैज टॉट यू ओके so what is your name <laughs> that is a secret when somebody secures 100% marks i will come and tell my name this clerk logged in for serve for a painting as with some nice thing about the on you just have to clap everybody all and sir is clapping for all of you because you did it very nicely very good thank you sir Thank, thank you, you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Just, just a minute. Yeah. We'll be here only online. Just a minute. Just for a minute.
Sir, I have a question. Add a suggestion uh, for the government if you can forward my suggestion on the platform of the new Please, please. Is it possible? As I am a taxpayer, every year certain amount of my salary is being deducted as a tax. Every year I am paying. After sixty, I will get retired. My income will stop. Is it possible that government can think according to my share of tax which I have already paid that certain amount should be given as a pension to this uh, people after my retirement? It will attract more and more people to pay honestly tax because what I will have, whatever tax I am paying, I am not getting anything return after I get retired. Huh. Okay. Is it possible that government can think that yes, this people has paid this much amount, so this should be given him after retirement or suddenly suppose during this COVID era, my company got shut down. So will government help me because these people have paid honestly taxes till this year? If he is in trouble, this amount should be given to the person as a help. Is it possible? You see. Uh... There are a few aspects. If I answer this question, uh, the first aspect is yes. The answer is yes. Uh, government is now having a scheme which is called NPS, National Pension Scheme, yeah. in which uh, uh, because uh, in government employees, in central government or state government employees, the PF is deducted and deposited, and they are given pension out of it. This is not happening in case of private sector. Uh, you uh, you may be required to. The NPS contribute. or the PF is according to my contribution. But I'm just asking my contribution according to taxes. Is it? This is the second aspect. Why I said that this has certain aspects is that doesn't COVID taught us that each and every time we should not look to the government and say, "What are you doing? Hmm? You are sitting in the restaurant. You are making crowds. You are talking without uh, uh, appropriate precautions, and then you are saying, oh, government has not taken care of us.'" So why don't why can't you earmark a certain amount of money and invest it properly? Why should government come and take that? That, that, is, that is what I'm saying. The tax which I pay for that, if something government could return me when I'm in crisis or when I'm in time. You see, government uh, should not should not return it like this. It should not return. It should return how? Why? The prime of SI. Applications. What is that? It collects tax to improve hospitals. Yeah. So if hospitals so, 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 are improved, so, so, so. if the health facilities are improved, you are basically getting your tax. You you go uh, get admitted after sixty years or seventy years, you I go and get admitted in the hospital and you get proper treatment. That is a repayment. In the form of social services. Yeah. Thank you. You are uh, yeah, okay. what you are talking about. That concept is floating in America. There, the uh, social security measures are quite high as compared to India. It will take time for us unless we grow okay. to reach that level. Uh, thank you, uh, and Jillian, on behalf of all of you and on behalf of this entire BHS family, I want to say thank you, sir, for taking out a precious time from his busy schedule and uh, enlighten us. So it, was it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. you for the amazing session. <laughs> Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a blast. Thank you so.